this is Randall Hanson making one of my little goofy little homemade videos, I guess you could say. But I'm just going to do a little medley of Buddy Davis of Anson Jensen Ministries songs that I memorized. And just say a few things. Well, what really upsets me is a worldview of this world anymore. Teach evolution as a fact. I don't care if that's taught as an idea, but our schools are teaching a humanist man-made religion. And they wonder what's wrong with this country. They worry when kids get shot, stuff like that. You know, it isn't the guns. Even if they outlawed all the guns, outlaws still have them. Uh, you got to change the human heart. What we need in this country is to put the gospel back in. At least, at least have a fair hearing. Just teach on one side of this stuff. And uh, the other day I got this, this new book. Um, it's not so new, but it's, it's pretty new. It's by Bruce Malone. It's called... Uh, uh, um, Suppressed size to hidden evidences, and I try. I tried to put. I put three of them in the public library in Estherville, but I put one at the philosophy department at the college. But Iowa Lakes wouldn't. They wouldn't accept those at the at the college library. I couldn't figure that out why. I told the guy I thought maybe they're trying to get God out of the country more or something, but maybe that isn't the case. But anyway, it's quite a book, and it has page to page. It has all this, every aspect of science. It shows you well, why the Bible's true and. Uh, why evolution isn't true and it gives you reasons for it. I told him just put it in religion section. I did drop one off philosophy department. I'm gonna maybe try the high school if they do that type or not. But anyway, this is what I believe. I believe that Genesis is true, the whole scripture is true. We'll do a few Buddy Davis songs. So he's from Master Jets Ministries. You can look that up. You can look up the Institute for Creation Research. And look up Miss Bruce Malone. In fact just go out and put a search for creation science you'll find a, a wealth of evidence. Look up Slaves for Christ, Slaves for Jesus that's on there. They got they had this recent seminar, it's amazing things they've discovered that show the earth is young. Uh, biological things are so complex. Out in outer space, the plants couldn't have formed themselves by the name of this theory or something. There's no comet, there's no or cloud or comets or too young to be in the universe. There's things like that all over the place. So it's just ridiculous for a human being to sit there and they just act like they just know how it all happened by chance. It's, now, don't forget that's the philosophy that led to Hitler and led to the, his whole philosophy. There's a great song called One Blood with Buddy Davis that answers that question too. Anyway, I'm just going to sing a few of his songs and do a medley. And if people look him up, he's got videos on YouTube. He wears a hat like Indiana Jones. And I've been doing more and more of that. I'm going to get bolder on that in the future because... I think the end times are rough upon us, really, for serious. Better get right and figure out who the creator of the world is, and that's Jesus Christ, because Colossians 1, 16 or 22 said he's a creator, sustainer, and redeemer of it all. His blood redeemed everybody. And salvation is a free gift for anybody that asks. It doesn't have anything to do with any kind of church affiliation or anything. Just open up the Holy Bible and read it and believe it. And John 3, 16 and other... Anyway, I'm just going to do a little medley of some of his songs. Just get out of my chest, but that's what I believe in. I don't even belong to one of our churches as such, but I've been going to Pastor Travis's church at the Calvary Gospel. I love everybody there very much. And I like the Bath Church up on the hill, Grandview, and the Lutheran churches in Missouri Synod, they believe in creation too. So Christians should not compromise one hour of the Word of God, because Jesus said that. Not one jot, one till, or punctuation marks going out of it. He said, Heaven has passed away, my words won't. Now, if he's just a Jewish carpenter that was deluded, or he was. A deluded person or a total fraud, how would that be true? His words have not passed away. And more people know than anybody ever has in history. So, and more Bibles being printed than ever. So, just that alone is proof the gospel is true because it endures, it will endure forever. Evolution won't. It's going to die a heat death, that idea, in the lake fire someday. So, just keep that in mind, too. Anyway, let's sing some of these songs. On day one, God's own son raised the heavens and the earth. He said, let there be light, and it was done. That's what happened on day one. On day two, out of the ocean blue, God made the atmosphere. Divided the waters, put them under and above, and God did it with love. It's true, day two. On day three, out of the sea, a dry land appeared. God created plants, the flowers, and the trees. That's what happened on day three. 
On day four, well, there's still more. God put the stars in the sky. May the greater light to rule over the day, lesser light to rule the night. I'm sure, day four, on day five, something is alive in the air and sea. God made fish to swim and the birds to fly. That's what happened on day five. On day six, the wonder that God picked was to make the creeping things. He made the beast of the field, cattle of the land. His own image God made man to exist. Day six. On day seven, a blessing is given. God said what he made was good. It only took six days to make the earth and heaven. Now God rested on day seven. By the way, that's the only place you can find where we, why we have a seven-day week is the scriptures in the Holy Bible. Yep. Okay, got that song. Now, uh, people who deny the worldwide flood, Second Peter chapter 3, let's just sing one verse of that song, Buddy Davis. Buddy Davis songs can answer any of that junk in the world. This is based on creation science. Bible talks about a worldwide flood, of a worldwide flood, of a worldwide flood. If there really was a worldwide flood, what would the evidence be? Billions of dead things buried in rock layers, laid down by water all over the earth. Billions of dead things buried in rock layers, laid down by water all over the earth. Well, it really was a worldwide flood. Just look at the stony curse. With billions of dead things buried in rock layer, lake number water, all over the earth. Amen. That answers that question. <clears throat> this is another one of his good song. I don't believe in evolution. I know creation's true. I believe that God above created me and you. So praise his name for what he made. Give credit where it's due. I don't believe in evolution, I know creation's true. I didn't crawl out of a pond or swing down from a tree. Adam is my ancestor and not the chimpanzee. God created everything, six days he was through. <clears throat> well, the Big Bang Theory just a dud in the billion years are two. I don't believe in evolution, I know creation's true. I believe that God above created me and you. So praise his name for what he may credit where it's due. I don't believe in evolution, I know creation's true. And Chucky Darwin and Carl Sagan and the damn Richard Dawkins can kiss my rear end too. Ooh, yeah, take that to the zoo. <coughs> yep, look him up, Buddy Davis, Nancy Genesis. That's just a couple things. Uh, here's one. You want to get rid of racism and all that stuff? <clears throat> Political correctness and all that. You know, I'm evolutionists used to take Aboriginal people, thought they were less than human, and white evolution, British people, supposedly Christian background, supposedly, they murder these people. They thought they were less than humans, so they just had a right to kill them and chip their skulls back to be studied, prove that they were less human than a white person. Now, that stupid, I. I don't know, to me, I know what Hitler's idea is, which is the biggest damn joke. Now they found out all people are so close to genetically, the skin color is like a bunch of different things. It's not just that simple. But basically, well, it's just actually just one pigment, melanin, but the skin color. And if you have a lot, you're black. If you don't, so it, you know, you're, you're, it could be a, a aber it could be totally, totally white. There was actually an albino person in Australia his best friend was an Aborigine black fella. When they were in their 50s, they were dear childhood friends. They were little, from being little kids. The black fella developed a kidney problem. It was in Creation Magazine a few years ago. And the closest tissue tissue mass for him to get a kidney transplant was his white friend. It was totally white albino. So, so much for this race stuff. There's a great song by that. I'm going to sing the <clears throat> uh, first two verses of that song. That's a terrific song. I sang it to a black fella, a young fella at the high V your day. It's a good song. We're one blood, we're one people. You can trace our family tree all the way through history. Back to Adam, back to Eve. We're one blood, we're created in the image of our God. Made to worship, made to love. We're one blood. 
I wish the world had blinders on so nobody could see. Things that make us different are so minor, so petty. And there's major things that unite us and make us all the same. Like the blood that's flowing deep inside our veins. We're one blood, we're one people, you can trace our family tree. All the way through history, back to Adam, back to Eve. We're one blood, we're created in the image of our God. Made to worship, made to love, we're one blood. I like this verse. Every language is the same when we laugh or cry. Let's retrain our... Let's f forget our shade of skin. Let's retrain the eye. God created everyone, man, woman, boy, and girl. We're just one big family in this tiny world. We're one blood, we're one people. You can trace our family tree all the way through history. Back to Adam, back to Eve. We're one blood, we're created in the image of our God. Made to worship, made to love. We're one blood. May the worship, may the love. We're one blood. May the worship, may the love. We're one blood. Boy, I love that song. I don't know. There were Howie Rosen told us, I hope. Hitler has to listen to that song every day, how stupid he was, his stupid beliefs that led to such things like that in the world. They can lay it right at the feet of this evolution teacher. I know we got to just teach that to kid you. Teach that in school is a fact. You wonder why hit people do things like they do. Your worldview determines everything else in your behavior. Don't you kid yourself. And this liberal junk. You shouldn't be boarding little babies either. That's going clear against God. A marriage between a man and a woman because God says who what that is because God created it. He loves people that are homosexual too. That's not, I'm not saying that. But and I do too. And it's no worse than any people saying they're cheating their husband and wife. But, but marriage is just from between a man and a woman. I'm sorry. But. That's just the truth of God's word. And he's the one that made it all from the beginning, so we have to stick with that. Amen. And then, another song I really like. This is a good one here. This is a terrific song. No matter what we know, there's more that we'll never know. Next to what God knows, we know next to nothing at all. There's an infinite amount of information to learn. The more we think we've learned it all, it only confirms. No matter what we know, there's more that we'll never know. Next to what God knows, we know next to nothing at all. And the Bible is true. God can't deceive. The world's without excuse. And they don't believe. Design is everywhere we look if we would open our eyes. But the world rejects the Creator and believes in a lie. No matter what we know, there's more that we'll never know. Next to what God knows, we know next to nothing at all. There's an infinite amount of information to learn. The more we think we've learned it all, it only confirms. No matter what we know, there's more that we'll never know. Next to what God knows, we know next to nothing at all. And the Bible is true, God can't deceive, the world's without excuse, and it don't believe, design is everywhere we look if we would open our eyes, but the world rejects a creator and believes in a lie. No matter what we know, there's more that we'll never know, next to what God knows, we don't look to nothing at all. There's an infinite amount of information to learn. The more we think we've learned it all, it only confirms. No matter what we know, there's more that we'll never know. Next to what he knows. Why we know next to nothing at all. I think they were there and they know it all. I can tell you how I come from a spinning dot and just blew up. And that's, that's science. That's garbage thrown in the garbage. I can't hold in and say this. It's not anything. I don't want to believe that. But why that's... Parents didn't tell us a fact, and like a whole country of England has been ruined by that now. I was kind of starting to take it back a little now, but... Brother. I think we learned our lesson from the past, from Hitler and all that stuff. Evolution is bad fruit, and it's a satanic thing, and it should be totally destroyed. No churches should compromise any of that stuff. Give up anything. Just believe the whole thing, literally. No blood's real, all that. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense. Second Peter chapter 3. 
I got a little ditty for that. Second Peter chapter 3 really kicks him in the knee. Good old Second Peter chapter 3 speaks of creation and the flood. Salvation bought with Jesus' blood. Good old Second Peter chapter 3. <laughs> True to read that one, the whole chapter. When we were ignorant in the last days, we denied creation and the flood. Not the water and the water. There's all sorts of screams that there was a big flood. Just look, look up that book, Bruce Willow and all that, and just on the creation website, look at all the evidence for that. Rapid water burial, were laid down by the, fossils were laid down at years time, it wasn't millions of years. Can't explain coal, can't explain anything except by the great flood and creation. Living things are so complex, there's no missing transitional links and all that kind of stuff. That buddy, he's, he has really good songs for all that stuff. Exodus 20:11 makes it clear it didn't take God a million years. Bible tells how the world began, skillfully created by the Master's hand. For in six days He made the heavens and the earth, sea and all that is in them. With love in His heart He created all things. The Maker of the world is the King of Kings. The Bible teaches that the world is young. God works quick and it's no problem. Then he rested when he was through. He created a week for me and you. For in six days he made the heavens and the earth, sea and all that is in him. Love in his heart he created all things. Maker of the world is the king of kings. If you're down and you have a bad day, Lift your eyes to heaven and pray. God's your friend and he cares for you. Nothing's too hard for God to do. For in six days he made the heavens and the earth, sea and all that is in them. Love in his heart he created all things. The maker of the world is the king of kings. Amen. Just ask for Lord Yeshua. Accept him as your savior. Do it now because I think we're getting fast approaching the end times. That North Korea thing, or start World War III pretty soon or something. That's scary stuff. Only God's going to save this world. There is a consummation. I don't know if I remember all the verses, but I know the chorus line of this song. The Christian, our faith in the Bible, evolution has you know, a consummation. It's got the heat death. Everything wears down. Energy can't be used. We just have a die of heat death. Well, there's going to be heat death for evolution, all right, but it's not going to. They don't get converted. I hope they let them good creatures were, were them before. So I hope for him and his grace. He can be saved by grace right now. But the ultimate leader is heat death. You don't believe in God. You don't want to accept Jesus. You don't want to take your Savior. Well, had every chance, opportunity, the one that made it all come here, humbled himself as a man, the worst death you could think of, rose from the dead to beat death for us. Second Adam, he did it all. It's all in there. You want to make fun of that story? You just, what's, what's better, that story or your story that everything just came from the explosion? Here we are. Whoopee. No, I don't think so, huh? Don't satisfy nothing. It's a bad philosophy. It leads to nothing but destruction and horrible things like abortion and murdering people because they're different skin color or something. That's just no good. Stick to your Bible. Believe in Jesus. He, he's author of life. Life came from life. That's the law. Biogenesis. It's a law. Ready proved it. Pastor proved it. They try to tell you opposite. Well, somebody turn around believing. Tell you that's a fact. And you learn that in school. First law says nothing's being created or destroyed. Second law says things are less available for worse, going downhill. Evolution is a big joke. It doesn't happen. It goes against those two laws. Third law is biogenesis. Life comes from only pre-existing life. And then you turn around and try to tell you that. Sitting in a classroom, man, chaos, they tell me that. Well, they're teaching me that. Okay, that's great. And then you turn around and say, well, that, well but that just must be possible. Because here we are. Because they don't want to retain God in their knowledge. Like Romans says. Romans 18.25. So God gave him up the reprobate mind. He said other things. Like being homosexual, I mean, you probably get so they'll throw you out saying that. I mean, when I say that, I'm saying what scripture says. God won't forgive anybody any sin, so nothing to do with that. But it says that that's what happened. He gave people up to that because they didn't want to take him in their knowledge. So, you know, just anybody you talk to, we're all sinners, we can be all saved. That's a grace thing. You don't treat anybody any different than anybody else. I don't believe in that, but it's just what scripture teaches anyway. But that being said, was that my train of thought gonna end this up? I can't do this too long, but anybody listen to this, just look up stuff on there. If you doubt the word of God is true, just ask Jesus to come in your heart, because he's for real. He saved prayer. 
Sinner's as prayer, that Jesus will come in and you ask God to reveal himself to you. Just open your Bible and read it. And read John 3, 16. You're saved by grace through faith. It says in Ephesians. Just believe it. He'll come in and change you. It doesn't mean you're perfect, but you can have a new heart and you can start studying with other Christians and learn things. I'm supposed to give an answer for the man's death, as I said in 1 Peter. That's why I study creation science. I should get just more pure scripture than I have, but I do do that. I do you know some scripture, and I've read through the whole Bible a few times. I know that the Word of God is true. This humanistic stuff just isn't going to last. It's just temporary. Oh, let's see. Let's go end with a, with a song. Oh, yeah, there's one song I, get, I like about the rainbows. Our kind of landed on the mountains of Iraq. Noah didn't want to leave the ark. He heard a thunder crack. God said, Noah, you get out that door. Promise of a rainbow off the earth no more. Rainbows remind me of the worldwide flood. Rainbows remind me when that world was judged. A multicolored spectrum pain the promise from above. Rainbows remind me of the worldwide flood. Noah and his ark. Family set the animals free. They multiplied throughout the earth, but what does now I see? Another storm is brewing, and his heart is filled with fear. Noah sees a rainbow, and he grins from mere ear. Rainbows remind me of the worldwide flood. Rainbows remind me when the world was judged. I'm off the color of spectrum pay the promise from above. Rainbows remind me of the worldwide flood. Now there's been countless floods since Noah's time. But then the match that global flood and the rainbow is a sign. Rainbows remind us God is faithful, he is fair. And just to drag our memory, look, a rainbow's in the air. Rainbow remind me of the worldwide flood. A rainbow remind me when the world was old. A multicolor of fucking pain and promise from above. Rainbow remind me of the worldwide flood. Look at him watching, little Elvis. <coughs> <coughs> Buddy Davis said a little Elvis impression like that in that song. Well, I guess I'll <clears throat> my little video fill you up, but everybody just check those guys out. Um, well, for the kids, dinosaurs did live with humans, a lot of evidence of that. And, and they're just called dragons in the Bible. <laughs> Term dragon wasn't invented until 1841. But they kind of rediscovered them, and they tried to make them millions of years ago. A lot of those footprints are for real in Pluxy River, and they're not all carvings either. But there's all kinds of this uh, humans interacting with that dragon-like creatures. In fact, there's these rocks, the Inca stones down in Brazil, down or they discovered South America. They discovered it shows about 10 percent of shows humans riding on dinosaurs, domesticating them, and doing everything else. We went down in Mexico with these statue statuettes that yeah, the people made of dinosaurs. About 10 to 20 percent of those were that. They tried to dismiss those. Well. They, because they didn't know about it. Actually, these people must have seen live dinosaurs. One of them showed sauropods with frills on, one of these little statuette things. And they, they didn't think there was any sauropods with frills on it. Now, not too long ago, they found one that had frills on it and a snack like that. So, see, people always been with them. They were just big dragons living at M.U. Garden Eden way back. So, most of them died out, and they were on the ark, but most of them died out since then. There's still probably some left over in Africa, the sauropods. And there could be even some triceratop type. I've read something about that. You can get on some of these websites. You can look up about that. And then there are probably pterodactyls or petrosaurs living down there in New Guinea. There's some evidence of that, too. They're still with us. So. The one kid over in tape, there's a guy from from Africa said there's some of them living in his village. So <laughs> they're still with us. And most of them died out. But a lot of things have gone extinct with us because creation got screwed up. And the flood happened. And the world ain't as good as it used to be. That was the punishment. So, yeah, that's right. It was a big place when they want to deny that flood happened. It did. There you go. Anyway, check that out. Look that stuff up before you believe the junk of this world. Get the scriptures and believe that and trust in the Lord because he's coming back here. That's going to happen. Amen. I guess I don't know how much longer my old video has got. <clears throat> Let's end with this song here. By him all things were created, everything in heaven and earth. 
Invisible spirit, where all that we see, Christ Jesus created all things. He clothes the lilies in springtime. He knows every sparrow that falls. He numbers the stars in the heavens. Christ Jesus created it all. By him all things were created. Everything in heaven and earth. Invisible, spiritual, all that we see. Christ Jesus created all things. Oh, uh, that's... But he has two verses of that song. I got one. I, I, I sent him this. Uh, he was okay. I did that, I guess. I know singing my last verse I made up. I think it's kind of fun. A little bit humorous. <clears throat> he created behemoth and T-Rex. He made the dragons in the sea. He created the bugs on the windshield. He even made me. By him all things were created. Everything in heaven and earth. Invisible, spiritual, all that we see. Christ Jesus created all things. I believe that more than anything else. He is the one. Colossians 1, 6, 1, 16 through 22. All things consist. He created everything. Everything held together. Every atom is held together by him. And he is the redeemer of everything. With his precious blood, he saved us. He reconciled us. Everything to himself. That's why we have a new heaven, new earth, and we're going to live forever. Glorious bodies and serve the living God forever. And you want to be a scientist? You be with the one that made it all in the first place. You no, know, you'd rather go the other way and think it. It's so stupid. Everything comes from nothing. It's dumb. Don't satisfy the heart. Get away from that dead philosophy. It's a death religion. Don't believe in it. It's a lie. It's a death religion. Get the right worldview. God made the world not that long ago. He flooded the world. Oh, this last I was going to do this. I'll just do the course this last one I was going to do. The seven seas of history. No rhyme or reason we can comprehend History's events from beginning to end It'd be an adventure, I'm sure you'll agree Remember the seven seas of history Okay, here they go Creation, corruption, catastrophe Confusion, Christ and a cross Consummation, it is a last sea The seven seas of history and the great buddy davis I'm, i can't help but i love buddy davis but creation is creation corruption is sin happening and having any sin and then uh catastrophe is noah's flood confusion the tower of babel after flood when he told people to disperse and they didn't do it so he confused their language and that's the only way they clear all the languages come from okay confusion that happened confusion creation then you got you got Christ coming, then the cross, and then the last one, hallelujah, consummation, new heaven, new earth. He comes back, straighten it all out, creators come back, fix his creation, like my song Carpenter is on. I don't know if I got time to sing that on here, but anyway, I'll, maybe I'll, I'm going to just see if it might run out of me. The end this up, I'm going to sing my song I wrote there. I don't know where my, my tune came in my head somewhere, but but anyway, the words I made up, the lyrics, and I made a song I made about a year later, but the tune come in my head. I might be plagiarizing the tune. The song I did make up the lyrics. He came to this earth by his virgin birth. He lived the perfect life for 30 years. He worked as a carpenter with his hands. One made the star, labored as a man. And now the carpenter is coming back to fix his creation. Nail iniquities, send out all injustice, and varnish this world with truth and love. He started his mission as God's true lamb. He fulfilled many prophecies throughout the land. He was the suffering Messiah, Yeshua, my Lord. Now he's coming back to judge with his sword. And now the carpenter is coming back to fix his creation. Nail iniquity, send out all injustice, and varnish this world with truth and love. He died on a cruel cross, the scripture foretold. Jehovah God come in the flesh, the creator of old. But he rose from the grave after three days, giving life to believers, their souls to save. Amen.